Well, the times, heights and distances get better the closer we get to state and divisionals is the last chance for many athletes to punch that ticket. Let's go to the Northern Sea Divisional Track and Field uh, meets at Memorial Stadium. Start of the track and the boys four by one. That's Shane Gires anchoring Great Falls Central. 44.87 seconds the time on the girls' side. Fort Benton going to take this one. Nicole Axman anchors there, and Longhorns go to win 51.91 more from the Longhorns. Leah Gannon, district champ last week, divisional champ this week. 16 feet, 9 inches for the win. Over to the pole vault, bar is set at 12 feet, 9 inches. That's Powers' Joey Zilks getting it done, a personal record for him at 12.9. Next to the girls' disc as we go. More Judith Gaps. Sierra Stahl has been dominating this event in the Northern Sea all year, so no surprise, 110 feet 2 inches on her last throw. That's good enough for the win at the Northern Sea. Back to the track in the boys 800. Damon Bird of Fort Benton, 2 minutes 3.64 seconds to finish ahead of the pack. He's first on the girls' side. Who else would? Zoe Delaney for win at grass range. No one even close. 2 minutes 22.38 seconds. She can sprint as well. Let's go to the 100-meter dash. And Delaney goes 12.95 to take another first. She's in line to maybe win four state titles next week. Girls 100 hurdles we told you to watch for. It's CJI freshman Tatum Hull, 16.38 seconds for the win. And finally, the boys 110 meter hurdles. Keep an eye on the right side of your screen. Jacob Jessen coming out of nowhere to beat Garrett Decons. 16 seconds flat was his time. We'll have full results from the Northern Sea Divisional online at MontanaSports.com. We'll be right back.